that you point out that men do in fact ha have a higher libido and they do yeah. have a much uh, bigger desire or acceptance of sex without commitment, casual sex. They're happy with multiple partners. Do you want to explain that a little before? Uh, before sure. I mean, though, that's those are robust findings, and it's um, you know consistent with our stereotypes uh, about sex differences. But it's a fact that males do report having a higher libido, and their um, behavior to some degree supports that. This is consistent in the literature. It's consistent across cultures. They also express a desire for a higher number of sexual partners. That's not always a huge difference, but there is a difference there that males on average want um, more sexual partners than women. The data are difficult and some people push back because there are some men who will say, I want you know a thousand sex partners. Um, but one thing we can do is look at the differences between um, gay male culture and sexual culture and lesbian sexual culture. So here we have a, a little bit of a social experiment or something you could say to see how the sexual natures of males and females play out when they're unrestricted by the needs or, or limitations of the opposite sex. And I think we all know what those differences in sexual culture are that on average, gay men are in fact having more sexual partners and more sex and seem to have higher libidos than lesbians who, you know, the joke is that they're going to basically get into relationships on the first date. I don't want to say what the joke oh, is, but no, 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 you, I'll do it for you. You have that hilarious <laughs> Andrew Sullivan joke. Right. I'll probably mangle it, but it was like the differences between lesbians and gay men after the first date, uh, one of the lesbians gets a U-Haul. Uh, what is a gay, what is a gay man bring on a second date? Oh, right, right. What second date? What is a lesbian <laughs> bring on a second date? A U-Haul. So that's a just a huge stereotype, right? And and I, but it is backed by actual evidence. And that's a right. way for us to understand our sexual natures. And um, it plays, of course, this gets complicated in heterosexual relationships because we have different sexual natures. Men can't just have all the partners that they want and all the sex that they want necessarily because women have different kinds of desires on average. So that is true. Um, and testosterone seems to play a role. And one way we know that is from these, from the evidence from transgender people. So I interviewed some transgender people for the book um, who, whose experiences do seem to be fairly representative of the experience of many, many transgender people who have participated in studies. And we have evidence from what their experiences in, in the scientific literature. So what is seems very clear is that when you transition from female to male and you increase your testosterone to male levels, your mind is blown by how horny you are. <laughs> and that is a pronounced effect. And people describe thinking, oh my God, this is what it's like to go through the world as a man. And the people who had uh, up until the point they transitioned lived their lives as women are like, I am seeing life from the other side here. That's what they want, of course, if they're doing a hormonal transition, but it is a really mind expanding way to understand the opposite sex, that there is a much more pressing need for sex. And this is particularly evident in the first couple of years of taking um, testosterone. It's like going through a male puberty. And we know that adolescent boys and young men, their libidos are pretty high. They're thinking about sex a lot. So are women who are going through that, their estrogenic puberty, estrogen also increases libido, um, but it seems to be of a different quality. And so we know that it does have something to do with testosterone, particularly from castration experiments, from the history of castration where libido plummets if you don't have testosterone. And so we know that um, also when females, uh, sorry, when males block their testosterone to transition to living to, uh, as a woman, their libido goes down. And that's just very clear that testosterone has these effects that can help us understand sex differences in sexuality. Um, and there's also these differences in orgasm that seem to be an effect of testosterone. And I'm not sure if you want me to 
Go on, go on. Those. No, for sure. Okay. Now you can't leave us tantalizing on, on the, the orgasm. <laughs> yeah. So I found this fascinating because I did not know this. I knew, of course, that men behave differently after they have an orgasm, after sex, they have different needs, right? That on average- I, I once heard do. a therapist say, men go to sleep and women want to start cleaning the house. <laughs> <laughs> what? I would think it's women want to cuddle. Well, maybe that's- <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. Um, but the, the- I'm done quality. <laughs> <laughs> um, so- what my, the people I interviewed, their experiences, again, were consistent with what I learned from consulting the scientific literature on the changes that happen in transgender people who are um, either taking testosterone or blocking testosterone. So female to male people who take testosterone have, report having a different experience of orgasm. And this is whether, so that's, let's just say you don't have any kind of genital or reproductive surgery, right? You keep your original equipment. So, um, so for people, so tr for trans men, the orgasm becomes more time limited. So shorter, but more intense at the peak and more focused on the genitalia. And that's a surprise for them because when they were living as women, which is consistent with what happens to males who block their testosterone and take estrogen, their orgasms become longer, more full body, um, less intense at the peak, but sort of their whole, they describe, it's more like their whole body is a sexual organ. And I had two people tell me that um, they enjoyed the orgasms off of testosterone, woohoo, more than those, <laughs> more than those on, that that full body experience is just more pleasurable and even more emotional. <laughs>